New images tonight of Kilauea, where lava continues to erupt within the Halemaumau crater. According to the USGS, over the past 24 hours, the lava lake has risen over a meter. Lava is erupting from multiple vents, with the west vent being the most vigorous source, shooting a fountain of lava up to 15 meters high. In total, the lava lake has risen about 27 meters, or 89 feet, since the eruption began on Wednesday. The lava is still contained within the crater, posing no threat to the public. Officials say volcanic gas emission rates remain elevated, warning of hazardous like Vog and Pele's hair. The Vog has already started reaching areas like South Point, Ocean View, and the Kona districts. Vog or volcanic smog is created when sulfur dioxide from volcanic eruptions mixes with sunlight, part particles, and other gases in the atmosphere. Vog can cause some health issues to people, but University of Hawaii researchers have found it also has other impacts. UH researchers also confirming indigenous knowledge from native Hawaiians that the presence of VOG can decrease rainfall. We found that when volcanic emissions are high, that rainfall is on average lower, especially in the region downwind of Kilauea near Pahala. We found approximately eight millimeters per day less rainfall on days with high emissions as compared to days with low emissions. This wasn't surprising because when you have aerosols that are making it up into clouds, they have an impact on the cloud and precipitation processes and just make it harder to form rain. It just takes longer to form rain. UH also launching a VOG measurement and prediction project showing where VOG from Kilauea is headed in real time. We'll have a link to that on our website, khon2.com.